Hey, did you did you work on the uh, the lighting to get this shadow at exactly the same angle as the painted stripes? Because that's like it's like really beautiful it synchronicity there. It's it's something that just happened. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> A couple of things that I really like about this piece. I like that angled drip. It's kind of in the upper left. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's got a sense of direction, yeah. like the like the painted stripes on the side. Also, I'm, also I've been really sort of, uh, like pleasantly troubled by that thing. Yeah. I kept seeing it as an opening. Yeah. And then I realized, oh, it's also painted. But you sort of feel like you yeah. kept the edges really funky, and yeah. I keep going back to that. Um, the whole thing reminds me a little bit of De Caracal. Hmm. I guess the angles, that That's kind of that nice. weird mm -hmm. surrealist space, I, um, forced surrealist space. Mm -hmm. You know, you'd kind of like kick up the angles in order yes. to make things um, uneasy. Yeah. I want to keep reading as a tabletop. This this part. The, the whole thing? this whole surface. I want to keep reading as a tabletop. You know, and then. Like a still life, maybe? The whole yeah, thing could be a still yeah, life? Yeah, like three objects on a, on a tabletop. Huh. You know? Yeah. 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 And not that's cheap or not, but it's, it's, a, it's fun. <laughs> it's for me to figure it out in the end. It's almost like, um, like lizard skin or something, too. Like, <laughs> what's, going, like what's, going on, what's going on over there? Yeah, that's like, okay. I think, you know, like, if you ever bought one of those laundry bags, that you oh, put yeah, your yeah, yeah. in. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I airbrushed through that. I have all kinds of templates. Some of them are the things that I created. Uh -huh. And and then in, in that case, um, things that I just have around the house. Uh -huh. And then I'm like, oh, this, could, this thing ripped. I'm going to bring it to the studio and use it. I love a big recycler. And no more. So, I don't like to get rid of anything. <laughs> It's like a bunch of post-it notes that have been piled up yeah. and it's like... <laughs> 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 yeah. Not necessarily even though. Color ones, you know. Yeah. And they, yeah, they slightly fold, like they're like pulling away at the edges really nicely. It's yeah. great, it's great, I love it. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you're... I, <laughs> yeah, and I feel like you're challenging me too in this one also with the color. But yeah. that, that incessant pastel. Yeah, and, and I made it around Easter time. So oh. I'm not kidding. Um, I thought about making it of just one color because the shadows are so important too. Yeah. They become they they take a back seat because it's not monochromatic, but they they really did affect in the end where I put some of the colors. Mm. I did some I did some of this work on the computer. Right? Yeah. Like picking the colors? Mm -hmm. yeah. Initially, I did a, what I did was I photographed the form and brought it into Illustrator and used the pan, one of the Pantone books. Mm -hmm. I, have, oh. I have a Pantone book in my oh. studio and I thought, well, that way I can put these colors together, see how they work, and then match to the Pantone. Mm -hmm. um, but then when you're working on it, things don't always, things that look good <laughs> 2D don't look good 3D necessarily, yeah. so you have to, Nix it and then kind of go. I don't like when things are just so straightforward. Like I plan this thing and now I'm gonna do it. It yeah, has to yeah. be. There has to be some element of surprise for me, uh -huh. or else I'm completely bored out of my mind. I love this right here. I love that. Just from from back, you know, sort of squinting out a little bit, kind of. Were you trying at the top of that? Just this little thing right here. It almost. It's almost oh, like a space, right. and the entire thing is tumbling out of this little space right here. Out, and it's just really nice. I ended up using a calligraphy pen and ink mm. to make those marks because it, I couldn't come up with a template that would have given that kind of an effect, and I wanted that really nerdy. Had an organic feel. Yeah. Too. Yeah, and the marker would have been not so nice, and paint would have taken too long, so mm -hmm. that was um, something I never did before. I try to do different processes to create more ideas, so that's how a lot of To kind of throw yourself off balance a little bit, mm -hmm. like yeah. bring new variables yeah. into the studio. And, and then sometimes I'll take 
hopefully they look at, like this is a very new way of working for me too, the, the Pascal piece, and then there's this new, so then I could then marry these two and make something mm -hmm. else later. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's really, for me, that's the most fun, is to try to figure, figure out a new way of doing it. Yet at the same time, I'm still using the same materials, which are foam and paper, pretty much. Mm -hmm. This actually was going to be uh, a horizontal piece, and then in the end, it became a vertical piece. Mm -hmm. It was it was a really great form horizontally when it was white, but once it had the patterning on it, it changed everything. Yeah. So then I ended up actually cutting it. It had a longer, it had like a, a nose that came out, and I ended up cutting it. It was a really good decision because it was such a distorted. Yeah. Form. There's this balance that happens or doesn't happen, but it's something that you can't think about why it doesn't work. You just know visually that it doesn't. And then try and decide what it needs can be so dangerous because you come in and start cutting it and you don't know if you're making it worse or not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Were you thinking about? Um, that, that wonderful skull by Gabriel Orozco at all while you were working on this? No. You know, that, the pattern, <laughs> that strange, yeah, that strange right. checkerboard right. pattern that kind of warps I, on around it now. I wasn't thinking about it. I was... Does really, he make your blood boil? Did I? Is no. he like a bad... <laughs> 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 this was interesting because it doesn't have the, um, the skin over it that the other ones yes. have. This, you know what I mean? This is more wrong. Yeah. This is definitely one of those things that just came together. Like I'm actually starting to see this as more like a as a protective thing. Yeah. In relationship to this one. Mm -hmm. You know, where you, you actually like have these little There that one is it's, it's bare. Yeah. It's like the internal organs. Yeah. But it, it definitely felt like it was enough of a transformation that it was mine. <laughs> this is a this is a um, a challenging little poof too. This, yeah. this this little tuft. It's got a lot. I mean, I don't know if a little. Like, it's almost like lint or something. But in, you've set it up in such a way that it has such. Um, I don't know. It's so uncompromising. It's just like, like deal with my poofiness. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. Take that. It gets a little help from the edge of this right here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's really that's a really fun thing. Some of them are yeah. I, I mean I guess I'm I'm thinking of them as paintings too. Yes. I mean yeah. Yeah. this one is kind of obnoxious. So I think that's what you're picking up. The, the so. I've been really interested in frames for a long time. Yeah. I don't even know why, I'm not going to say how they do this or that, but it's something that I keep coming back to. Because I've, there's always such an interest in the combination of 2D and 3D and the work mm -hmm. that up earlier. Mm -hmm. The trombone stuff too that happens in some of the pieces. Yeah. So. There's the world out here that we're in and there's this, the world of art in there and they're trying to have a a fusion. Yeah. Wanting to mix mix those two into each other. Yes. Yeah. Part of it is I don't I think of my work in some ways they are paintings, but they're also objects. So I would I can't just make a painting on a on a pretty on a panel. I wouldn't know where to stop or I wouldn't know if something's enough. So it's the frame in that's, a way. That's interesting you say I wouldn't know where to stop. Because I thought you were going to say I wouldn't know where to start. But you, <laughs> it's, it's kind of what it's all about ultimately is where does this thing end? You know, how do I frame it up? <laughs> you know? So anytime I do make paintings, they, they tend to be chunky. I, I, you know, I love working on small paintings because mm -hmm. you, can, you can screw them up instantly. And you can save them instantly too. <laughs> you know, you're working on this thing that's 12 by 18. And you know, one one little sneaky maneuver, it's yes. the, the, the game has been changed. Yes. 
you know, and I'm sure working on these sculptures, you, know, you just twist something, like a, you know, the, it's a move of the wrist, and it's a whole new game. Yeah, it's <laughs> no, because I'm, I'm, I'm just hesitating because my work, in some ways, when I'm making a painting that becomes part of the sculpture, which you see in this piece, like this and you see it with the mustache, and we'll go in the back and see some more like that. That is very much like play. Mm -hmm. And not much intention of ser there's no seriousness at that point. There's no um, this real decision that I'm going to commit to this thing. Mm -hmm. So that can be very free. But once I start creating the, the form, then the way to change things is usually by cutting, right, right, separating. right, and that's hard to go back. And that's really challenging. So. That's when, and that way I envy painting because I like the idea of just throwing stuff over it. <laughs> I know it's more complicated because we get attached to things too. We get attached to a mark and, yeah. um, and it's hard to, to, yeah. to obliterate it. There's and more, there's more intentionality with the, uh, the form, the physical forms, I feel like, than with the, uh, the paint that's on them, yeah. like you were saying, oh, I just found the particular piece mm -hmm. I needed. It's much harder to find the particular form that you need, right. you know, well, and therefore yeah, you get more invested in it. Exactly, and in this case, this this piece was made after I found out about the show, and um, I wanted to make something big for this front area. Mm -hmm. I wanted something that would be seen from the You could see it from the street, yeah. yeah. Did you settle on this um, this painted section and then move back in space? Yeah. So this was sort of something that was kind of casual. It's part, of, it's part of a bigger. Well, that was the, the that was the um, practice for the stenciling for the other piece. Mm. It was right. kind of sort of, sort of line on. Yeah. Line on. Okay. And then you, you, you kind of yeah. found that. Whoa. Yeah, then, I got. I just tried to find the biggest piece out of that rectangle that I could make into a somewhat of a, it's not quite a circle, but I, I got this on, on a minute line. So, oh, okay. yeah. so, so in a way, so the sculpture, the, that thing which kind of like pushes back in space or down in space, is the framing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then oh, there's, for this, there's this, this like armature thing. underneath it too. Oh, yeah. There's stuff underneath mm -hmm. it and, then, and there's like a, um, you know, a thought about, well, an ottoman goes out and then comes back in. And mm -hmm. there's how much space do I want between each layer, so that all becomes part of the process. And so, uh, uh, so like, were you thinking about like, like the human butt, like as you <laughs> 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 like right here? Is that the? <laughs> You know, compared to the other pieces, they're so light and this was even a, tricky to hang at one point. Um, yeah, I ended up putting a piece of wood in the back to make it stronger underneath and I had to cut it while it was already attached to the piece and that was really scary and challenging. <laughs> I knew that it had to, it needed to go back in more and it was sticking out too much. So. There's something about this piece that, um, Looks to me a little bit like computer language. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of jagged, uh, jagged edge. It's it's probably tape. Yeah. 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 And this is these are like kind of um, funky pixels also. <laughs> yeah. Different kinds of pixels, you know. Yeah. And they're even pixelated. They've got like checkers and stuff yeah. on them. Yeah. Come, <laughs> coming out the side of the monitor. And it's like it's like a piece of foam core. Mm -hmm. you worked on? Yeah. yeah, I think that this is probably also from four studios ago, that, that <laughs> initial image. The little dot thing that kind yeah. of slips back behind, you know, yeah. like, 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 and also this, it gets a little bit of texture. Yeah, right there. I think I may have ripped the paper in there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this, this. There's a lot of like, just, 
like great moments, but they're, they're at a scale like a millimeter, mm -hmm. millimeter by a millimeter. So the, the way, there are certain areas that are reflective, but they don't correspond to any of the planes that are here. They're like sort of like a corner there and there and here. And so it, it sort of throws me as I'm looking at it. In what way? Well, it's just, it's unexpected. Like, like there's a little bit of blue that I'm sort of seeing yeah. here. It's, it's sort of like these like, it makes it seem more like a gem. What is a nice cut? In your, in your kind of your allowed language, because well, you said they're permissions, yeah. right? Like, so what? Is, what is a nice cut and what is a, a crummy cut? Does that is that a changing? Um, well, a rule. I mean, yeah, I like five years ago, was a, yeah. a certain kind of cut crummy, yeah. and now it's like allowed. Now it's acceptable, probably. Yeah. Yeah. I think sometimes when you have two planes that you want to come together, oh. and then you have one that is sticking out too much, then it'll create another line and another mm -hmm. space in there. Mm -hmm. And that can be really annoying or you can go with it. Right. So okay. it's sometimes it feels so wrong now and then you have to take the knife in there. <laughs> you, just, you can't really get the scissors in and you don't know what's gonna happen. Sometimes then I'll just stuff it with glue or medium or something. 